is not done yet. Can you tell us where it, how it's looking right now, Josh? Yeah, and the main threats when these tropical systems come ashore is, yes, it's the wind. Yes, it's the water that gets pushed on shore. But then when it gets inland, it's the flooding rainfall. Because just think, hurricanes, a big blob of temperature and moisture differences working on in a bunch of instability and that means you get a bunch of rain coming out of it. That's what's happening here as we've gone through the overnight hours into the morning hours across central Florida. As Ian is tracked to the north, it is dropping very heavy rainfall, more than 10 inches of rain in some cases closer to two feet of rain there across parts of central Florida. And now that's working into Orlando Daytona Beach where they're dealing with not only flash flood warnings, but flash flood emergencies with rescues ongoing. That's going to be a threat that continues here through the day and even as Ian makes it on shore as it goes to the north going to cause issues for areas from South Carolina back over to North Carolina as well as it continues to work across the east coast. So not done with Ian yet. Meanwhile as Ian has passed east of us we've dealt with quiet weather and that's going to continue through the rest of the work week here in Central Texas. 61 out there right now in Waco. Same in Colleen. Tipple at 64, 59 in Gatesville and mid 50s over towards San Saba. We start off here in the 50s and the 60s. By the time we head towards lunchtime, we're near 80 and late this afternoon, close to 90 degrees as we top out near 89 to 90. Normally should be at 87 record, by the way, 101 in 2011. And then tonight, another cool morning on the way, mid 50s, even some upper 40s possible from Centerville over towards Madisonville. We will see a northwesterly shift in the uh, wind today, actually northeasterly rather, and that'll bring in cooler air so that when we wake up Saturday morning, most of us will be in the upper 40s and lower 50s, and then we start a warming trend that takes us back in the mid 90s, maybe even some mid 60s for morning lows, which means that humidity is higher next week. It's awareness about